I'm sure by this point we're all well aware that some Linux users don't understand fun and jokes. I've made this very clear in multiple videos on multiple occasions, so it was no surprise to me whatsoever when I was sent this 2017 thread on the Unix Stack Exchange. Why does man print gimme 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 at 30 minutes past midnight. Now, some of you might remember this situation because this was only a couple of years ago, but I'm sure it's going to be completely new for a lot of you. We've noticed that some of our automatic tests fail when they run at 30 minutes past midnight, but work fine the rest of the day. They fail with the message, gimme, 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 in standard error, which wasn't expected. Why are we getting this output? Now this is a good example of how not to write your questions. It's missing a bit of extra context. Someone asked, why would you ever write a test where you know man is going to fail? That just doesn't make any sense. You're not testing man. Why are you doing that? What he was actually doing is running man-w. So if we go run man-w, this goes and prints out the man path. If you have no man page listed, it prints out where all of the man pages can live. If you have something listed like say ls, it tells you where the page for that specific application is. Now, gimme 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 was intentional, just not in this way. It was first added six years prior in 2011. Easter egg suggested by Thomas Thurman? I'm gonna say Thurman, not Terman. And it sat in the code base for a long time. Maybe a couple of people here and there noticed it, but no one really cared. No one ran ManDB specifically at 30 minutes past midnight with a fail condition, so it just wasn't a big deal. When this thread came out, though, it kind of popped off and everybody suddenly knew about it. Now, along with this thread, there was also a thread over on Hacker News that got a lot of attention and also r slash Linux. All of a sudden, everybody was talking about this little joke that existed in ManDB that nobody up until this point had even remotely cared about or even remotely thought about. Now, for anyone who hasn't got the joke yet, let me just explain it. The joke is pretty on the nose and pretty obvious, but you may have just never heard the song before. This is a reference to the ABBA song, Gimme 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 A Man After Midnight, which you may have guessed includes the lyrics, Gimme 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 A Man After Midnight. So if you run Man After Midnight, Gimme Gimme Gimme. But you might be thinking, isn't every time of the day after midnight, because it's after midnight of you know, the previous day or where the day started. And yes, you would be correct. So when it was first added, it actually didn't run at 30 minutes past midnight. It actually ran at one minute past midnight. But there is a very good reason why it's at 30 minutes past now, because the first line of the song is half past 12. So about three hours after this commit was originally made, it was changed over to 30 minutes instead. It didn't actually matter what the time was, but it does fit with the joke a little bit more. Also, it means it's not running every single second of the day, because that would be a very, very serious problem. But here's the big problem. If this Easter egg worked as intended, like I love candy and Pac-Man, it would just be a fun little easter egg that people know about here and there, but it certainly wouldn't have this giant thread confused about why it's breaking a test when trying to run man in a completely normal way, running man-w, which should by all accounts be perfectly working fine. The problem is the easter egg actually introduced a bug. So, if the easter egg was working properly, what it would do is if you ran man in a way that caused it to error out, like say a misconfigured option, a man page that doesn't exist, and you ran this at 30 minutes past midnight, it would print out gimme 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 to the standard error, and it would only run at 30 minutes past midnight. The issue is there were cases where it didn't have to error to also do that, and that would happen with man options that didn't require you including a man page name, like man-w. Because of a misconfigured if statement, it would treat that as an error condition, 
and print out the text there as well. But since this only happens at 30 minutes past midnight, and you know, most people aren't running man at exactly 30 minutes past midnight, nobody noticed it being a problem until this thread. And it only got spotted because of some automatic testing. Now, once again, this is why it is very important to be clear in your original post, because most people are not going to read the additional context. And most of the discussion on Hacker News and on Reddit and other places discussing this got completely derailed, focusing on the fact this person was running man in a way that was causing it to fail. That was never the intention. It was supposed to succeed, it failing was a problem with the application itself. So a lot of people started sharing things around like XKCD1172, which is about dumb workflows. The CPU no longer overheats when you hold down the spacebar. Longtime user number four. This update broke my workflow. My control key is hard to reach, so I hold spacebar instead, and I configured Emacs to interpret a rapid temperature rise as control. Admin, that's horrifying. Longtime user 4. Look, my setup works for me. Just add an option to re-enable spacebar heating. Every change breaks someone's workflow. And slightly off topic, that is a big part of the nightmare of the kernel and why don't break user space exists. Because every time a little bug is introduced that some people start relying on, it goes from being a bug to a feature, so now you cannot touch it without breaking, you know, possibly thousands of people's workflow, especially if it's something that's wide reaching. In this case, it had the opposite effect, but I can see what they're trying to say if they misunderstood the original post. And possibly due to all the attention the thread got, the person who suggested the Easter egg got involved as well. This was just in an offhand tweet back in 2011. Dear... I don't know how to say the Twitter handle, Colin Watson, the developer of ManDB. I think that if you type man at one minute past midnight, it should print gimme, 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 hashtag ABBA. I can't speak for Cole, Colin Watson, obviously, but I didn't expect this to ever cause any problems. What sort of test would break on parsing the output of man with no page specified? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised that one turned up eventually, but it did take six years. And then after this, the Easter egg did get fixed. Now, it no longer interferes with the non-error cases. So if you see here, it was being run at the start of the if statement, rather than in the else condition. So this caused it to run when it shouldn't be running. And then following all this, Colin made his own reply. After some reflection, I've removed this Easter egg. It'll be gone in the upcoming ManDB 2.8.0. I'm glad that it made some people smile, which after all was the whole purpose of it. And my Twitter notifications and so on today suggest that most people thought it was more amusing than annoying. Still, some people did find it annoying, and six years seems like a pretty good run for that sort of thing. It probably isn't going to get significantly better exposure than it already unexpectedly has by way of this question. Time to put it to bed. And sadly, the code was removed. And this was fairly shortly after it was fixed. About 13 or so hours. I guess after some more thinking, he was just like, you know what? The joke is done now. Let's just go on to something else. And following all this, a bug report was made over on the Red Hat bug tracker because technically it is still a bug and it can cause issues in a, you know, corporate context when you're running a test at this very specific time. So it probably should be backported to older versions of RHEL and things like that. And this ended up happening. Colin got involved in the thread and just gave them the link straight to the patch. Now, like we're doing here, because this was such a ridiculous situation, it does occasionally get reposted here and there. And one of those times over on Hacker News, the author did chime in again to give more of a retrospective on the situation. For me, the point of an Easter egg in software is to make people who discover it smile without getting in their way. Make a few people's days a little brighter, like, you know, I love candy, for example. 
the nature of this one was that it wasn't all that likely that people would notice it. You had to run man without non-option arguments at the time, and you also had to know enough about ABBA for the output to remind you of the lyrics. For six years, I barely heard a peep about it, and I'd pretty much forgotten about it myself. Then suddenly, it turns up on Stack Exchange and is all over the internet. Somebody on Hacker News suggested that maybe this was the fewest bits needed to encode a widely distributed earworm. The register later had a comment thread on it full of ABBA puns. I'd only ruin it if I decided to be an ass about it. For a formerly obscure silly bit of code, it isn't going to get any better than this anyway. Four years later, it still occasionally crops up and I get an ABBA earworm for the next day. I'm not sad about it. Hopefully the author sees this as well and you go on another ABBA binge. Now, I did see a few people here and there saying this should have never been in production code, this was unprofessional, and why did this ever happen? And I think those people don't know what fun is. Simple as that, pretty much. Personally, I don't think it would have ever been that big of a deal that anybody would have really cared about if it didn't have a bug in it. The only reason anyone ever cared is it didn't work the way it was supposed to. And it's pretty much as simple as that. But maybe you disagree. Maybe you think, you know, this was a pretty serious problem and this could have caused a lot of damage in some weird production system where running a test on man would cause an issue specifically at 30 minutes past midnight. Maybe it could happen. I don't know. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. So that's going to be it for me. If you liked the video, go and like the video. And if you really liked the video and you want to become one over, these amazing people over here, check out the Patreon scrubs that we paid linked in the description down below. That's going to be it for me, and I hope you got the joke over on the whiteboard here. Let me know if you did.